This video is going to show how to use the staff copy of the Next Generation Assessment. First, you'll click on the three dots in the top right corner and click on Make a Copy. And then instead of using Copy of Staff Copy, you can just say your name. And then click OK. So you have to make sure that you're on your own copy. So right now I'm just going to close out the original. So now I make sure that I'm on the one that has my name. So then from here, what you're going to do is start to replace the questions with your own. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I would go about doing that. Um, so here's a question. And here are my answers. Okay, so then what I want to do is scroll down to section two, yeah. and I want to make sure that it says you answered A and then whatever my first choice is. So in this case, my first choice was pick. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add in your own Part B. And add in your own Part B choices. Okay, so now we have our part A and part B. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to actually duplicate the part B because right now it says you answered A pink, but what happens if somebody answers B, C, or D? So that's why we're going to duplicate. So what you're going to do is click on the three dots up at the top of section two and choose duplicate section. Then you'll just scroll down to that section you just duplicated, which is section three. And then you're going to say you answered B, and then whatever your answer for B was. You're then going to duplicate again, and then instead of B, you'll say you answered C. And then finally, we do it one more time, duplicate, and then you answered D. So now we've got our questions set up. So you basically would want to repeat that with all the other questions. So simply type in your own question and then put in your own Part B, and then keep duplicating Part B so that you have one for all of your answer choices, A, B, C, D. So then the last part, once you have all of your questions set up, then you have to actually control how it works when somebody's taking the actual assessment. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on Question 1, Part A. And then you're going to click on the three dots that appear in the bottom right corner. And you want to click on Go to Section Based on Answer. You'll now have these drop-down arrows. So what you want to do for the first one is click on the drop-down arrow and say, Go to Section 2, you answered A. The next one would go to Section 3. Make sure that the answer choice here matches the answer choice here and just keep going through all of them. Then the last part, what you're going to need to do, is make it so that it automatically goes to question two once you've done the part B. So here's our part B. So you want to click where it says continue to next section, and you actually want to say go to question two and you want to do the same thing with all of your others. So after part B, once again, go to question two.
and it's a bit of a time consuming process, but it is necessary. So now you're pretty much all set with your assessment once you've done these steps for all 10 questions. The next video will show you how to actually go about scoring your assessment.